Well, hello guys. This is Ashutosh Yadav, and today in this video, we are going to design a coffee mug in Blender. So let's start. So when you start the Blender, this is the screen we uh, we generally get, and this is the setup. So let me delete the setup and same time let me start the keys like whenever I am going to click something you can see on the bottom right end of the screen okay so let's shift A and uh, take a cylinder S for scale and S and Z for scale a little bit upward one g for move n in z direction okay click tab for edit mode and here control r for loop cut click and drag upward and again control r click and drag downward and now i have two select these both rings shift alt shift and click here and then bevel let's bevel it this much is fine i guess okay so let's go and select these four faces E to extrude, S to scale in X axis, N 0 to flat and enter. Now shift S and cursor to select it to uh, make this 3D cursor at the bit point of the selection so that we can make a spin in Y direction and just before that we'll stop and we'll apart from these two faces which are already selected we'll select these two as well go to uh, the edge and bridge edge loop now it's bridged now we'll have to make uh, a segment here let's insert face Mm, this much might be okay good and now toggle the x-ray and again one e to extrude and I guess this much is okay and then toggle x-ray again and the mug is done now we'll have to make a smoother version tab again to get out of uh, the edit mode to the object mode and object and shade smooth but when we are going to go for the shade smooth we see it doesn't look very nice so what we are gonna do is control z we are gonna, I'm gonna oh, 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 uh, let me tell you one more thing when we do shade smooth we have an option here object data properties and uh, when we go to the normal and auto smooth what it does is whatever degree we put here uh, 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 in the option if uh, if some uh, if anything is more than um, uh, that it's not gonna uh, make it smooth it it will be at hard edge other than that it's gonna smooth it so the top of the rim uh, uh, the rim inside and outside and the handle are not smooth it's a sharp edge because it's more than 30 degree so we don't actually want this so we'll uh, deselect uh, auto smooth and shade flat again so what we are going to do here is we are going to add a modifier we'll add a subdivision surface modifier see but uh, 
again we have done a subdivision modifier uh, but still we we have uh, made multiple divisions of uh, the particular faces uh, 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 but it's still not smooth but after doing a subdivision modifier if we shade smooth it looks better than the previous one but at the same time here there's an issue the bottom side uh, is also shaded smooth so we'll go again tab for the edit mode let's one and select the lower portion and uh, let's right click and separate tab again sorry ah, I done one mistake I have to toggle uh, x-ray and just the lower border nothing else because I just want to separate this only separate off tab and voila it's done and I need to separate the inner face as well because we need uh, a proper rim this is uh, a very sharp edge we don't want that so again tab for uh, the inner one and alt and click on the inner surface the whole thing is selected right click separate and done tab again for the object mode see it's not it not a very sharp now and uh, it's it's got one more benefit the inner and outer are two different uh, uh, sh uh, different shapes because these two are different shapes we can actually make them different materials and colors as well so let's go to the viewport shading click on the internal uh, uh, inner portion new base color let's make it a little bit gray uh, brownish gray nice and uh, let's make the outer one as blue mm, okay this blue is I guess fine a little bit lighter would be better yes a lighter blue nice now you can see this arc is approximately semicircular but we don't want that we want uh, a typical uh, uh, mug in which this lower portion is a little bit uh, on a flatter side and upper portion has got uh, uh, a um, bigger curve than the lower one so let's click tab for uh, the edit mode and here we need to uh, change the shapes let me click the edge selection alt and select this edge the whole uh, loop but if I go to the move tool here and move this one only this portion will be moved we don't want that so instead of that we are going for pro proportional editing click on that there are some other options uh, associated with that connected only project from view the whole portion is uh, already connected so there's no issue um, uh, but with for the shape smooth sphere root inverse square sharp linear constant and random you can um, uh, whenever you are going to uh, make any design you can uh, click and experiment on that if you don't want that control z and uh, re-experiment so for me the smooth is fine i'm going to make this one you can see here uh, while clicking and scrolling you can see that there there is this circle which ensures that whatever is inside that circle is also affected with this motion so let me click one and then click and okay alt click for the whole selection one alt 
alt click alt click this i need to decrease this one see if you increase you can uh, scroll and see the whole space within that gets affected tab to get out of edit mode and to object mode and now you can see this shape of typical shape of the coffee mug handle that's all done so how did you like the video if you have any questions or any confusions in this video you can uh, directly tell me uh, in the comment below and which kinds of shapes or which kinds of uh, elements you want me to design you can tell me uh, uh, in the comments below as well we are going to make lots of simple and very easy to understand shapes and we are going to expand on uh, different horizons as well we will be uh, going to do texturing and compositing in a, uh, in a later phase of uh, um, uh, multiple videos uh, which uh, I'll make later and uh, as far as this video is concerned um, it's a very simple but uh, very amazing uh, video for a lot of uh, applications uh, you can make many shapes uh, by using these small techniques so see you guys 